In what may be the hottest year in history, scientists have recorded radical changes to the permafrost in Antarctica. The Pandora virus, a so-called giant virus with the largest genome size ever recorded. The crabs also display increased aggression, even towards larger predators. A striking new weather anomaly has claimed many coastlines around the world. NASA is examining these clouds to figure out... We've detected large amounts of an organic composite. So far, the sample doesn't match any of the DNA records we've compared it with. We all saw it. Those creatures coming out of the sea on that oil rig. The president has declared a national emergency. It's obvious that what we're dealing with here is a biological weapon. As of today, we are at war. It's taking their minds. I saw them walk right into the sea. Thousands of people. Thousands. The mist is gone, but the city is dead. The roads are broken. You must join one of the havens. Do not attempt to survive on your own. Welcome to Phoenix Point, folks. We are jumping into a hero campaign. I think that should be quite all right. And I am so excited that we are on the full release. It's going to be awesome. So let's start the game and get into it Pandorans will build bases under mist cover but their attack range can extend out of the mist okay fair enough so for the first week or two here we're going to I'm going to release uh, a video a day at least of uh, a phoenix point so be My sure to subscribe Mandel and tune Science. in to that i am the last leader of the phoenix project if you are hearing this i am most likely dead but in happier news a scarab has been sent to pick you up and its artificial intelligence will take you to phoenix point get to it quickly and safely all right camera and movement okay we can move around with the mouse we can move around with the wsd case and we need to move up here no time let's to do waste. that great we spotted an enemy right there and where are you going receiving loud and clear you're going over here for some reason Okay, go, go. We spotted an enemy. All right, I guess we're shooting at him. I don't think we really have a choice here. We, we just have to do as it says. It's the tutorial, so... And let's end the turn. And I guess we're gonna get shot, right? Yeah, we're gonna get shot. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. That's good. Damage and body parts. If you want to read all this, uh, go ahead and pause. I'm not going to read through everything because I pretty much know it. So, current environment. All right. We need to move over there. Where are our weapon? We will shoot it in the torso, I think. Yes. You're dead. You're dead! Alright, move up. And you need to move up here. Prioritizing speed. Okay. Good turn. Three enemies here. That's not so great. Alright, we're on our own now. So All I need is a clear fire shot. our weapon. Ew, that's not a great shot. That is not a great shot. What if we came up here? Hmm. You know what? Let's just shoot the bastard. We'll go for guess we're going for the carapace. Damage the pincer. Okay. 
Alright, he's dead. Good. Then you can fire your weapon. Let's shoot him in the face. He's bleeding, but he's not dead. That's kinda sucks. Alright, take out the leg. Alright, he's dead. Ow. Ow. You come around behind him and fire your weapon at the leg. You're dead. Right. So we need to move over there and get into the vehicle. There's a scarab there. Very cool. Do we get that? I would like to have a scarab from the get-go. Be right there. I think, yeah, there are no more uh, enemies. So let's get in. And you get in. Very nice! We did take a lot of damage though, which is not so nice. But we completed the mission! We got some experience. Very nice. The scarab gets experience too? Okay, I did not know that. It's important to find other Phoenix bases as soon as you can. Conduct area scans and explore as much as possible. All right, we'll do. If you are hearing this message, an alert has been triggered and you will need to clear out the enemy forces. There may be others who receive this signal. Help them if you can. It's all up to you now. Good luck, operatives. Symes out. Okay. Are we actually injured? No, we're back to full health now. Okay, that's nice. Alright, we can check our inventory. We have a rifle and a mag. Okay. We actually could do with a moving now reload. But I think this is a tutorial mission as well. We can't really decide what to do standing by so let you we're moving all the way up here Hostile. out of cover and everything terrific great 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 two enemies right there that seemed unwise Jesus he's almost dead Okay, status effects. Okay. So you... You need Heading to move out. up here. And you need to throw your grenade over here. Makes sense. Okay. What are you doing? Nothing? Alright, in turn I guess. Med kits and healing, you need to med kit. Are you okay? Her? So, who do we have here? Babe, C. Jack, and Lise Eclair. Okay. So, Lise, you move over Target's here. We get a heavy pool. And he needs to jump jet up here. We're going through this tutorial quite quick, I am aware of that. But you can pause and read all the messages uh, if you want to. That is totally up to you. But we're just gonna get this uh, tutorial done relatively quick. Because I feel like I know what I'm doing. Though the game doesn't, because it keeps putting me in bad positions, I'd say. 
All right, come about reactions. All right, that's return fire and stuff. You Moving need now. to move up here. Fire your weapon. He isn't dead. No, and no, he no, returns no, no, fire. No. Why would you move up into a position where you can return fire? I'm on the move. That does not seem wise. Overwatch here. Covering. All right, character info we need to go to. Okay, we are in Overwatch. We have assault training. We have a disabled torso. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and the turn. It does not seem to me like the game is making great decisions for us. I think he's gonna die now. Maybe he can't die because it's tutorial. Alright. Oh, I want to fire your weapon. Ah, I overwatched him. Crap. Okay. This is not a great shot. Let's... Actually, you... You up here, Aiming. fire your weapon at him. He's dead. Okay. And we have you. Come up here. Fire your weapon. In the face. In the Enemy face. Down. Very nice. All right, we killed all the enemies. No XP for anyone. That seems harsh. Okay. When faction relations reach 75, you become allied, and that faction's full research tree is open to you for research. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The Second War to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world, and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning, and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. This is so cool! Alright, the Geoscape. 
we know how that works. So we can pan around here and take a look. Let's go into our bases. Uh, your base is your stronghold, containing all facilities as well as vital resources such as food, materials, and tech. Phoenix Point is in bad shape. You need to repair your vehicle bay before you can launch your Manticore aircraft, and it'll take some time. Start repair of your vehicle bay. All right. Let's repair that. What do we have? We have a fabrication plant, satellite uplink, research lab, living quarters, medical bay, store, access lift, energy generator, and the vehicle bay. And we have one base of a total of eight possible. I think it was only three in the, in the backer build. All right, we have four personnel at the base out of eight possible. No vehicles. Sad that we didn't get the scarab. All right, let's advance time so we can get our manticore. There we go. The Manticore is your aircraft for transporting soldiers and exploring the world. The aircraft's crew is shown in the aircraft bar in the bottom of the screen use, using their soldier class items. Send your Manticore to the unexplored site. Will do. Will do. So what do we have? We have a heavy, a sniper, and two assaults. All right. Let's move over here. And... Let's explore the site. Okay. Scavenging site. Threat level low, light level day. Okay. Eliminate all enemies to claim the resource crates. Let's start the mission. Okay, the realistic ballistic model means that each bullet has its own trajectory and will do damage independently of any other bullets fired in a burst. Ooh. Yeah, so this is a really nice feature of Phoenix Point. I think that if you miss on your shot and there is someone behind, you will actually hit that someone if the bullet is going in that direction. I really like that. I really like that feature. Ooh. Cool, Manticore PX08. This is a new cutscene. Cut I like it. Alright, so we need to... What's this up here? I wonder. I don't know what that mark is. But I think this would be a good place to go get our sniper up. Let's grab snipes. You're there. Can you get up there? No. Where can you get? You can get up there. There's a crate in here with something in it. Ooh. Pick it up. It'll be encumbered, but. It is what it is. I want that. Hell cannon. Right. Then we have one of our assaults. On the move. We'll come up here. You can see someone. I don't think you will be able to hit that. Uh, it's just Overwatch in this direction. Overwatching. Comes online. Repositioning. And you can Overwatch in that direction too. Covering. And then we have heavy. Repositioning. Actually, you could come up closer. Is that wise, is the question. And I don't think it is. Uh, maybe it is. Let's, let's actually do it. And we'll come up... Here. We 
still only see the one guy. We know there's one over there. At least he's using the grenades on the on the chest there. No dice, no dice. Oh, we hit something. There's another one. Okay. Let's start with snipes. Actually, kind of sucks. You can only see the one guy over there and there's a lot of stuff in the way. So I don't think it's going to be worth it getting him up there. So, we take you. I'm on the move. Move up here. I've got a visual. I see three guys now. Uh, let's hope we hit. Nope. So close. All right, we took him out somehow, and that is almost out as well. I don't know what blew up there, though. I am not entirely clear on that. On it. This is a waste of ammo, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's move you forward. Actually, get back in cover, but I don't think it really matters. Okay. What the hell is he shooting there? That seems weird. There's another thing there. Comes one more. They're really going for those crates, and they took one out. Bastards. And there's one. Looking at crates as well. Jesus, there are a lot of them. Crate there as well that they're, they want to take out. Okay. Well, we need to move up. That's for damn sure. No matter Maybe what, it's only watch. half cover. Ready to fire. He's gonna give it a shot. He took some damage. He took some damage. Ready for action. Hmm. Zooming in. Let's hope we take him out. We did. Okay. You. Come over here. You to come up here. Okay. I think we're gonna lose some crates here. Pretty sure. Oh. We've lost two crates so far. We're taking damage. Uh, 
That's three great sauce. Jesus? We are not off to a good start. We are not off to a good start. Let's see. You can basically can't move. Which really sucks. Can't jump to there. All right, let's wait with you. What's you. Plan? Take a shot at him. All right, he's down. This is only half cover as well. That's only half cover. There is cover at least. I'm on the move. Right, he's down. Good. All set. You can actually see this guy over here. Can you hit him? No, not really. Need to try again. Yeah, you sure do. Can't see anyone, and moving up here won't help. Let's jump. Back here. To do this. And spacebar. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. All right, so we have one there. We have one over on the other side. Shooting the crate. Right. Can't see him. Can we see him from anywhere? Can you can't see anything? In here. He's dead. That's something. Moving you to can come up here. You Taking should be aim. able to see him. Can't him well, a little bit. I'm on the move. He's dead. And that's the mission. That's the mission. All right. That was rough, though. That was rough. Two injured. One very, very injured. I think. No one leveled up. But we did get reasonably close on some of them. All right. All right. That was a pretty rough first mission, I think. Okay, we recovered the hell cannon, the magazines, grenade. We recovered 200 food and that's it. Everything else was destroyed. That kind of sucks. Okay. On completing a mission, all gather items and resources are added to your overall supplies. Soldiers get fatigued during battle, losing one stamina point per turn, max 10 per battle. When stamina falls below 20%, a soldier will suffer an action point penalty 
in the next battle. Your soldiers will recover stamina and health while resting at base, as long as the base has a functioning living quarters and medical bay. Return to your base so your soldiers can recover. All right, will do. They need it. The personnel roster shows all your soldiers and ground vehicles where they, where they are located, wherever they are located. You can transfer soldiers by selecting the location button on the right side of each soldier's list entry. You can customize your soldier's appearance and voice by selecting the customization icon to the right of the soldier's name. Select the personnel button and go to the equipment section. Okay, personnel, equipment. You can equip your soldiers with new weapons, armor and other items by dragging available equipment from the stores onto the appropriate slots in the inventory. You can instantly equip or produce items in ready slots by using the plus ammo and plus items button. Uh, the armor section shows the armor the soldier is wearing for legs, body and head. The mount section is used for special equipment that can only be attached to the corresponding piece of armor. Okay, go to the training section. Soldiers can in increase strength, willpower and speed as well as acquire new abilities by spending skill points. If a soldier has used all personal skill points, they can use the Phoenix, points, uh, the Phoenix skill points, which are common for everybody. Soldiers can only acquire abilities for their current level or lower. Upon reaching level 4, each soldier has the option to specialize in an additional class. The last row of abilities represent personal aptitudes the soldier is born with. Once you've adjusted your soldier's stats and abilities, go to the research section. We'll take a look at the different abilities as we level up. There's no point in looking at them now because... You can't get them anyway. We could get this one. Wrong man. Gain heavy weapons proficiency with plus 30% bonus damage and minus 10 perception. Yeah. Then we have that. Trooper. Gain assault rifle proficiency with plus 20% damage and accuracy. Now that is quite nice for an assault class. Okay. Let's go to the research tab. Research projects are critical for improving your capabilities and winning the game. To speed up research, build more research labs. Research requires time, so make sure time is advancing in the geoscape. Research atmospheric analysis. Will do. And let's progress. And our soldiers are resting up and healing up. Which is good because they really needed that. They needed the healing, a couple of them anyway. Research completed. Atmospheric analysis. Reprogramming of our satellite systems has revealed the extent of the new mist outbreak. The origin sites are in coastal sea regions as in the previous two incursions, but their activity level seems higher, posing a serious threat to remaining life on Earth. Havens caught within the mist will be at risk of attack, so we should explore mist-covered regions thoroughly and defend any, any havens trapped within them. Our geoscape monitoring systems have been updated with the current mist coverage. Okay. The mist represents the progression of the Pandora virus as it spreads throughout the globe. The Pandoran mutations will attempt to build colonies on areas of land covered by the mist, which will then attack nearby havens. To meet this threat, you will need to produce equipment. Select the manufacturing button. Right? Manufacturing. Weapons, vehicles, and armor are manufactured by fabrication plants. Uh, provided the required research has been developed and there are enough resources available. Items take varying amount of time to produce. To speed up the process, build more fabrication plants. Okay, manufacture a medkit. Can do. Don't know why. I have a lot. All right, let's take a look at this mist. Oh, satellite uplink. Satellite uplinks allow area scans to be initiated, revealing new sites of interest. The more uplinks there are available, the more simultaneous scans can be performed. An area scan can only be only be performed by an aircraft centered on its location. The scanning zone will expand over time, revealing new sites. Form an area scan. Okay. Area scan. Right. So we have mist here. So this is the circle here is our view range, and we will be able to scan out to that distance, I guess. Uh, let's go to our personnel real quick and make sure that everyone is equipped with what they need to be equipped with. Uh, too heavy. 
I'll give you a grenade instead. I'll give you some ammo. And a med kit. And I think a grenade. You grab a med kit. Grab some ammo. Uh, okay. I think that'll do. And we have one more guy right here. Grab a med kit. Grab some ammo. Grab another grenade. And that'll do. Alright. That works. Let's resume time. Tutorial complete! Congratulations for completing the tutorial. From here on, it is all up to you to survive, explore, and become humanity's salvation. Check the Phoenixpedia for more information about the game. Now you must find out what happened to the Phoenix Project. Research the Phoenix Archives. Okay. Phoenix Archives. One day, one hour. About that. Then we'll queue up recruitment. And then Arthur on autopsy, I think. Cool, cool, cool! So, as I mentioned, I'll be releasing uh, at least a video a day of uh, Phoenix Point. I think probably today and the first day I'll probably release two. And um, yeah, hopefully we will have a great time uh, playing through Phoenix Point and learning what happened to the Phoenix Archives and what this Pandora virus is so we can take it out. But we are going to continue doing that in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.